you guys, Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music. We're gonna break down this Fleetwood Mac song, but real quick, I wanna tell you about Guitar Crate. They're an awesome subscription service that sends you a bunch of cool guitar accessories every month. Just a few months ago, they launched crates featuring Elixir and Cleartone strings, and right now they're running an insane promo all weekend from Black Friday to Cyber Monday, offering 50% off the first order on all crates. Just use the code PAINTITBLACK at checkout at guitarcrate.com. Check out the link in the description for more info, and also watch a video where I opened my first guitar crate right here. All right, let's get to it. All right, this is a complex song with two guitar parts. I'm gonna show you my own little version of it that I think will be the easiest for me to teach and for you to learn. So drop your E string down a whole step to a D note, drop your high E string down a whole step to a D note, then put the capo on the second fret. So you can think of this kind of thing. If you were to form a regular old D chord, but take your middle finger off, you've got a nice droning kind of D chord. Now another thing, if I did this shape, where my middle finger's on the second fret G, index is on the first of the B, and I hammer up a whole step to that B string, I get that little sound when I do this shape here and I hit my ring finger on the second fret of the high E that's been tuned down, you get this sound. So that whole little intro works on a little shape like this. Another thing is that there's a uh, Travis picking. If you were to know a basic Travis picking pattern like Dust in the Wind or something like that, that will actually really help. I'm not playing the exact pattern of uh, Dust in the Wind, but it's got that idea of like, do, do, kind of a little droney, that thumb keeps going back and forth, and then you're adding little things here. Now let's start with the left hand stuff and focus on that, and then we'll work more on the right hand. So if you have this shape here, obviously not the pattern, but you got the chord and you're hitting that high E at the end of that pattern. And then the next one. So I hold this shape and then hammer with my pinky, but you may find it easier to do one and the other with using your ring finger. So the first pattern, and then the next one, then the first one again, and then the alternate one, but with a little extra. So it's just da 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 And it does that one two times in a row. Then it does a little variation on the first one. It's like boo do da boo da buddy. And once again. So do do da boo da boo da dee do. And then this one again. Do do da boo da da dee. So from the top, basic with the right hand, but the shapes do. Variation on the second. That one again. And now a new one, which is kind of a combo of both. Then this one again. And then now we transition, and I like to think of it as like the classic D fingering, but with the middle finger off. So we'll work more on some specifics, but think of it as 
that middle finger off, and we're gonna do a pull off on the third fret A string like this. So the first one is a transition. Uh, boom. Listen to the wind blow. So we've got that. Then we're gonna grab one, two, three, four, five up with the ring finger. And that pinky is on the five up from the capo on the high E. And because of the tuning, what we're playing right now is it's a G to G7, but because of the tuning, it looks different. So that index finger is going to the third up on the high E while that ring finger is on the five. And then the next chord is a C chord, but we're going to do a fancy little thing up here. So we're going to go up to the double dots with our middle finger on the E string. And then we're going to be one half step below that on the G string. Sorry. And then ring finger is going to be on the double dots on the B string. And just think of it as E, G, B, G. And for extra measure, when you hit that B, pinch the E with it. Add some uh, nice character to it. You just slide that down a whole step. And you're just picking the E, G, and B on that as well. And he changes the patterns on this, but I like one that I picked out from the song is... So just think of it as like that, starting B, G, E, B, G, E, but pinch the E with the B. So the first one. And then you're right back to that D. So one more time. D to bottom D. G7, then up to the C chord. So it goes into this lick. And what I'm doing is I change my fingering just for this one. He's probably not doing that, but uh, that's how I figured it out. Ring finger on the third fret B, middle finger on the second fret G. I'm just kind of pinching the chord, but then I'm going da, da, on those two, B and G. Sorry. Then ring finger comes off, and I'm in this shape, which we've already been using for the song. Sorry. So I just hit the B, and then I slide it up. So one, two, three, four, five, six up. Same shape. So it looks like this. Now we're playing another weird, funky voicing. Think of it as one, two, three, four, five up with the ring on the E, then pinky on the A, same fret. And then I'm grabbing the one, two, three on the B. So that one. You can never 
ever love me again. Then the D with that open string, still hear you. And then we play that B flat that we were playing earlier. Up here, you know, not this, not this one, but the one below it, you go D, hear you, it's a B flat. But the cool thing is if you're using this fingering, like from a D, you just slide it up and then grab that. It's not that hard. And then you play that C and you can play with that third fret high E there. So check it out. You know, So, I'm doing the low E, and then down the line. And then with this one, I'm thinking of a Travis picking idea, but then I cut it off, so instead of, or, going and I'm kind of just getting that B string in there and then I showed you this one then you go back to unless you go sorry into the and then as far as the intro Same thing, I'm thinking of a pattern of a of a Travis pattern. So if you had that pattern and then you adapted it to the recording. Now, another thing to add is, because when you're doing more of a strummy thing there, what I'm doing is I'm letting my middle finger, oops. I'm letting it mute that, it's muting that A string, kind of getting the D string in there, but it's helping mute the ones I don't want. It's not. It actually still sounds good. All right, so that's all the main acoustic parts that I'm gonna show you. All right, now we've got this uh, moody little part here. And so what's going on is it's uh, just like that same D chord. I'm using these fingers because then my index comes down. But so basically, that's third fret, that's second fret. And you just move that G string up to the third fret. Index finger comes down to the second of the high E. go to the rock part. So now we're in standard tuning with an electric guitar and we've got an open A string. And then
And then again, so O, O, two, three, on the A string, then two, O. Down to the third fret, which is from a G chord. Open A, second fret, then open E, which would be an E minor. some E minor stuff. So you got the classic fifth fret B string oh, with the open high E. You got the old uh, 12th fret. You got the 15th fret. And then you got the 17th fret. And then you're rocking out. All right, I hope you enjoyed the lesson. Also, you can check out more about Guitar Crate in the link in the info below. Thank you again for supporting Marty Music right here. Hope to see you soon.